Hi, you guys. I want to hear from you what you and your family has been doing to get through COVID-19. I really want to know. I want you to email me at AuthenticShante at gmail.com. Yes, I'm talking to you. To you, for real. Email me. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and move forward with the show. This podcast is all about authentic conversations. It's all about growth, love, respect, success, mind, body, and spirit. If you're looking to grow and expand in your life and become your authentic self, this is the podcast for you. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Authentic Talks. My name is Shantae and I'm your host. I'm really excited, you guys, because we have season two premiering on June 1st. Please make sure that you subscribe so that you won't have to miss a show. You guys, today I want to talk about something that has been on my mind and it's been on my heart and I wanted to share it with you because I feel like we all need this right now in our life with so much going on with the new norm. Things are about to start reopening up in some places. It's going to go in phases and a lot of people that I'm talking to, they're unsure about what to expect. They don't know how things are going to turn out. Some people are having issues with return to work. They're not quite ready for that to be back in the office. And then we have others that are ready to go back in the office because work from home has not worked out for them and they need to be surrounded around people. We also have so many other factors, uh, small businesses that need people to uh they need to open their doors back up so that they can get back to making money or it's going to really set them back. So I wanted to speak to everyone, everybody that's going through something that has been through something that's getting through it already. I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I had to implement in my life last year, because you know that I had fallen into a little bit of a depression. And when I was there, I was stuck. I felt like I didn't know what to do. I had my husband, my kids, grandbabies, and it was like, what's going on here? And at the time, I was trying to fight those feelings of feeling down and and like, what's going on? And uh, for some reason, I felt like just everything was going wrong in my life at that time. And sometimes when we're in the midst of things and we were in it, we don't really see the full picture the same way that someone else sometimes can see it when we talk with them and bounce it off of them or when you write it out and write a letter to yourself, write a letter to the person who uh, maybe you feel like you need to talk to who you can't because maybe they don't listen or whatever the case may be. I don't want to get too deep into those things today, but what I want to share with you guys are some things that can help to de-stress and help us all to calm down, help us all to have that moment where we can just kind of, you know, gather our thoughts and get it, pull it back in and get it back together. And I know that right now, a lot of people are going through anxiety. It's like everybody, because with all of the stuff going on, it's like, it's hard not to fall into that. So let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about some things that we can do. The first thing that I want to share with you is meditating. And if you're someone who has not had the opportunity to meditate, or if you are meditating and you're not sure that you're doing it right, I just wanted to share with you that it's simply about breathing. It's about focus on the breath going in through the nose and out through the mouth. If you just focus on the breaths for about 10 minutes, taking deep breaths in through the nose and blowing it out through your mouth. You're gonna find that it really does help with calming you down. It helps with grounding me and like centering me. And it helps to get me back on track. Helps me to just come into that space of calm. And and so that's something that you can implement to help you with that. Another one of the things that I do is gratitude journaling. Write down a couple of things every single day. Sometimes I only write down one thing because I feel like sometimes I'm I'm moving about around and I really have more things one particular day to do than maybe uh, some other days. So I may just write down one simple thing. Sometimes people, you know, think that having a gratitude journal or writing down the things that you're grateful for doesn't really do anything. And it's kind of like, well, what am I supposed to feel? What is it supposed to do? 
I recommend everyone do this. It helps you mentally to get back into a place of gratitude. And it helps us to stay present where we are right now versus us thinking about the future too much or thinking about the past, especially when your mind starts wandering off and and you start telling yourself the stories that get you upset, get you sad. And I want to talk about that as well, you guys. So like whenever you're going through this, where you are telling yourself some of these things, you do want to try your best to have compassion for yourself. Give yourself a break. You know, be kind to yourself. Be present. Those stories, you guys, that do get us worked up, sometimes when they get us worked up like that, it's okay for us to cry, shed a tear, to sit with our emotions, to be angry. Whatever emotions are coming up, it's okay to let them come up. And then when you're beating yourself up in your head, you have to ask yourself, like, is it true? Is a story that I'm telling myself about myself that's not good, is it really true? And then, right, go through an exercise. You can self-coach yourself through some of this process and and help yourself to be able to uh, move forward. It's little bitty things that you can do each and every single day that can help you to get move closer and closer to building that muscle, working that muscle, your brain, your mind, working it because mindset is everything. It plays a huge role, but we can't only speak to mindset and just say, change your mind think this way, do this. So it's it's important for us to talk about little things that you can do along the way to really help you. It's important to understand your feelings. And uh, a part of this helps us with transforming and a part of the transformational process and us growing. It's all about growth. We don't want to be the same way that we were when we were a certain age. It's like it's about growing and maturing and, and all of that. And so a lot of these things that just helps us to find different ways to cope with being upset or being sad or being disappointed. There's other ways that you can cope with that. And this will help us to avoid having to rely on other things that are not healthy for us to get us through difficult times. You guys, what I want to leave you with today in your wellness toolbox is perseverance perseverance is a word that comes to mind for me today and humility. We have to have humility and we have to have gratitude as we're moving forward and things are getting back to the new norm. In order for you to stay grounded and stay centered, those are some of the things that I want you to think about. Perseverance and I want you to practice, practice, practice. Practice that good self-talk. I want you to practice writing out those affirmations about yourself and how amazing you are. I want you guys to be easy on yourself. Take it easy on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. And just know that like you have to be your best friend. Okay? And I know that we've been on lockdown and many of us miss friends and families. When was the last time you called? And checked upon that friend to make sure that friend was okay. When was the last time you had an authentic talk? We need these authentic talks in our lives. We need them with our spouses, our significant others, our friends, our parents, our siblings, our children. It's really, really important to have. And it doesn't take a ton of time for us to just pick up the phone and allow them to hear our voice. Allow them to just hear your voice and to hear you ask them, how are you really doing? How are you really doing? And allow them to open up and share with you. And then you can give them some of this advice. Help them to build a wellness toolbox. Go back and listen to some of the shows. You could share the show to help them to be able to spring along, to move along. And hey, as we said earlier, it's all right to to vent, to get it off your chest, and to just sit with those emotions sometimes. I am sending you guys tons of positive energy, prayers, and healing in this time as we're moving back towards the new norm. Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Shantae with Authentic Talks.